And I'm going to hereby give my prediction right now, okay? This is my prediction. Write it down. So once again, this is a prediction, not a spoiler. I don't need this reported as news. I have, I have uh, well, when I say I have no inside information, I don't know what they're announcing Wednesday other than there's going to be a collision show on Saturday night. And as we will get to, it has a, it has a tagline, this debut episode of Collision. But I have talked to a lot of people over the last several days, and this is what I believe is going to be announced on Wednesday. You ready for this, Mike? Sure. I believe on Wednesday they are going to announce the debut of Collision, Saturday nights 8 to 10. They are going to announce that CM Punk will be returning on the debut show. And I believe that they have signed a new television deal that will cover Dynamite and Collision and Rampage. And I believe that deal will be in the neighborhood of $300 million over three years. If it ends up being a four-year deal, I believe it will be about $420 million over four years. I do not think anything is going to be announced in terms of a streaming deal with Max. I do not think the library is going to Max. I do not think the pay-per-views are going to Max. I think this is strictly a three-year deal where Dynamite is getting an increase. They are obviously going to get an increase in revenue from Collision. I believe that it is going to be a solid number. Hey, listen, if anybody thinks that $300 million over three years is bad or $420 million over four years is bad, brother, I don't know what to tell you. If you think it's bad, it's because you thought they were going to get a hundred billion or a billion dollars or whatever just for the television deals, and you know I don't I don't think that's going to happen. That's my prediction. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times, but I believe that that is what is going to be announced on Wednesday. Well, Mr. Cleo, let me then ask you why you believe then in as part of your prediction that you do not believe that Max will play a part in this and that pay-per-views and the library will be a separate deal or just not part of this deal? Well, I believe that because uh, have you ever gone on uh, Peacock and tried to uh, you know go through the, the WWE uh, archives? You ever tried to do this? I, I have, okay. yes. I do this every week. So, for example, uh, we watched these 1994 Raws, okay? I can't just go back and look for the date, okay? They are arranged by seasons. So, you know, you have to figure out, okay, what season is 1994? Well, it started in what, 91, 92? Okay, so it's what, season It's season three. Then you got to figure out the episode. you got to search for it that way, okay? Do you guys remember when the pay-per-views first went to Peacock and what a disaster that was? We're like, you couldn't rewind live shows uh, there's the ongoing problem I heard from Christian that you can't fast forward the live shows either. But anyway, <laughs> there were all of these issues with Peacock and it took quite a while for them to, to get those issues resolved. Okay. I do not believe that Max is prepared to be running live pay-per-views and provide a video library for AEW. That's not saying that this deal will never be made. That's not saying that the deal won't be made. Okay. It is possible they'll make the deal anyway. But I think that they have a way to go before they're ready to be doing live programming and libraries and that sort of thing. I could be wrong, but I believe that uh, they are not ready for that yet. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Rowan. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune, 
Mm-hmm. And by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.